Hi, yesterday I was having a very interesting interview. I will just give a quick intro about the interview and what goes on just for the experience of, uh, of having a good interview. So uh, the interview was built uh, on two sessions, structured on two sessions. It's a live coding interview. So the first session was a simple algorithm. We work on solving a simple algorithm, me and the interviewer. And the, the bar two is working on a technology specific, it's, it's React. So I'm front end React interview. So we work on the common use cases with React. So again, small, simple questions, but it covered the common use cases on React. I, I really like the interview. It's very interesting, the way it's structured. And also the interviewer was interacting very well uh, with me. But not this is not what I would like to talk about today. I would like to talk about one of the most uh, algorithms I use in almost all the interviews I have. Uh, this algorithm, it is made to traverse array, to traverse an array. So if you have array of elements, let's assume that array from 1 to 100. And you want to traverse those 100 in the fastest way possible. This algorithm, I, I, I come up with it on uh, one of the uh, interview I have before, and it helped me a lot during my career. And uh, it, it, is, it is quite fast. It has uh, a com uh, complexity of log, log n. So it is, it is very nice. So how, how do I implement this algorithm? Uh, the basic idea is to do a traverse that similar to what you do in a tree. So you split the, uh, the array into two parts, right part and left part. And uh, then you split the right and left again, right, left, right, left, and then you create a tree. You can do that using recursion to create this tree. And then inside the tree, you have two pointers inside uh, each branch, you know, until you, re you reach to the left. You have two pointers. Pointer which will go uh, uh, from end to start uh, and another one from start to end or maybe from middle to end. Okay, whatever, like, uh, uh, you know, whatever the problem is. But uh, I think the easiest way is to from end, you have a pointer and then from start, you have a pointer and then they, they move until they match on the middle. So uh, if you think... Uh, about this implementation, you will find that, okay, that means that we are reducing half of the time. So every, uh, let's say every branch will have n by two, okay? And then if you combine the branches, it will reach to log n. It's very interesting uh, approach uh, to traverse an uh, array. And it is fast, it's fast. It's better than traversing an array, for example, we're using for loop. If you use a for loop to traverse the array, it will be a uh, uh, complexity of n, okay? But this approach is much more uh, faster and it is not difficult to implement. It's, it's, it's not hard. Yeah, maybe it looks, the idea look hard, but it's not that hard. It's just, uh, a, uh, you know, a recursion and then uh, you just have inside recursion, you have... Uh, two pointers when you reach to the leaf. I have implementation on, on my GitHub. I did it sometimes back. I will leave uh, the link. Maybe you can take a look uh, if you are interested. And uh, and honestly, th this algorithm helped me a lot. It, it's good that you know it. Um, yeah, I think the best way to to really get the idea is to look at uh, GitHub and see how it implements. But this is a general idea. Even uh, when I'm approaching the algorithms questions especially on live coding usually i do a for loop normal for loop with no uh, complications i just solve the problem i don't make optimization i just solve the problem and then maybe if somebody asks me how to uh, how to optimize it this is my first answer the first answer is traverse the array and then uh, like uh, create the array and traverse it in the way I explained during uh, this video. I hope this is uh, useful to you. Take a look on GitHub and let me know. You can text me, or, of course, if you need any more information or uh, like you need uh, to understand how it works. I, I will be here to help.
Thank you. See you tomorrow.